Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, talking about that minimum requirement that they are going to impose upon 24H2. Uh, one of the good news is that, you know, it, your PC will probably need to be quite old in order to not uh, be able to run 24H2 on unsupported. This is a screenshot that I took of my unsupported machine and just look at this so this is an iv bridge cpu this is a core i5 third generation imagine this is old and if you look at the minimum requirements which is sse 4.2 or sse 4a well i've got sse 4.2 here so this means that even this old 10 year plus computer is capable of running 24H2. So it's not a lot of, uh, of PCs that are actually being removed. It's really the oldest that some might have be running uh, the, uh, the uh, Windows 11 unsupported on uh, because, uh, I mean, if this PC can do it, probably a lot of older models can do it. It might also go with not just a generation, but the uh, level of, of the CPU, you know, a core, would, depending on what um, level. Is it a, you know, a, a low, low range or mid range or high range CPU or uh, that that will probably also maybe dictate who can or cannot move. But one thing for sure, this works and that means 24.24H2 24 will be able to run on my old Toshiba. So um, chances are, if your PC isn't too old, uh, that you're probably going to be fine uh, with that new minimum requirement. Once again, it's unable, you will be unable to bypass that one. Uh, it will be within embedded within the core of Windows. It will be a requirement that just can be bypassed. So um, nothing else for now. We don't hear of anything that is going to be changed for the rest. And of course, once again, you're supported on Windows 11, your PC works on Windows 11. Uh, that doesn't impact anyone um, for now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.